across the country, police departments are engaging in their communities during National Night Out. That's happening here at home as well. 10 News anchor John Carlin is out tonight with police here in our community. He now joins us live from McCadden Park in Roanoke. So John, how's it going out there? It's going great out here, Rachel. I'll tell you what, you know, I knew Estelle McCadden, who this park is named after. She was a great champion for this neighborhood for years and years and years. Uh, and her son, Mac McCadden, who's now uh, having a critical role or doing, you know, a pivotal role, if you will, in keeping all this going is here as well. I just talked to him a little bit. But I want to bring in our police chief and, and have him talk a little bit. Uh, uh, chief Booth, if you would uh, tell me a little bit about um, how you feel there's there's 10 of these events yeah, going yeah, on yeah. so first of all thank you for yeah, joining me absolutely yeah yeah thanks for having us yeah. uh, WSLL is always a great partner so it's great to be out here I know you guys have a lot going on I mean just look around I mean you know we have I think a couple hundred people out here in McCadden Park you know National Night Out I get so excited every year whether I'm in Roanoke or Danville or Richmond kind of where I came up I just love the fact that people are coming out one night out of the year to really come out and stamp out crime, right? Because that is what how National Night Out was originally conceived. It's a way for the neighbors and the police and for public safety entities to come out and really show support to each other because really public safety is a shared responsibility. So I just love all these partners coming together and really kind of sharing in the fight to reduce crime and increase community engagement. I just want to ask you, it's been, if I've got my numbers right, it's been about 10 months or so sure, since, yeah, since yeah. you got this job. You were very successful in reducing crime in, in, in Danville. You're putting the same program in place here. Um, how does a night out like this play into your uh, uh, plans? Well, you know, a lot of the, the success we had in Danville and success we've had other places, you know, people talk about it being community policing and community engagement. And the truth is that's a big part of it because if people don't see the police, the human side of the police, and see us out here as a vested part of their community, they will never trust us when a violent act or crime occurs in their community. So, so they have to know us. They have to, they have to put the, a face to the uniform. We can't just be a badge in a uniform. So I think that building trust and legitimacy, no matter where I go, we invest so much into it. You know, and our community response bureau is out here building programs on a daily basis. Really, you know, whether it's with the youth or whether it's adults or, or, or older citizens, it's just everybody feeling connected to this great community star system. City. Great. Chief, thank you so much. I appreciate you joining me out thank here. You. Good event, yeah. and I uh, appreciate your yeah. time. Good thank you. thank you very you. much. Yes, sir. Uh, that's it from here. There's a great turnout here, and there's, there's 10 of these events happening all around the city today, and it's just an opportunity for police to get to know the people. Rachel, back to you.